Hey, I uh, don't really like getting serious with the videos, but uh, this past Saturday night, Clay Martin Croker passed away. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, he was the voice of Zorak and Moltar, and he was the animation director for Space Ghost Coast to Coast, which is my favorite show, period. And uh, these past couple years, I was lucky enough to get mildly acquainted with him. And, um, so, I just want to take an opportunity to, um, talk about my experiences with him and, uh, and just, uh, highlight some of his art and some of his talent here. Um, what I'm going to run here as I'm talking is the, uh, production art and some of the other goodies um, I was able um, to acquire from him these past few, year, few years. Yeah, I'm going to run that now while I talk about um, yeah, my experience it was with him. I uh, got to see him in person the last three years at Heroes Con and interacted online as well. Uh, he was always a very nice, very laid-back guy, very funny, great sense of humor. Uh, like he would slip in and out, in and out of voices, entertained uh, the people at conventions. Um, really great artist. Uh, one of the things you'll see is a, a r original piece of commission of Space Coast and Brack, and it's just perfect. Really, really great. Um, I learned some interesting things from him. Uh, like at this past Heroes Con, he brought a big folder. A bunch of big folders of production art from Space Ghost and the Cartoon Planet show. Um, one for each character. And there's there was a Brack folder, which one of the pieces you'll see uh, came from there. And um, he had several uh, sheets that were concept art for something that never came to pass called Brackville, which was going to be... Uh, like if Brack had a Mr. Rogers type show, which uh, there was just conflicts, I guess, with Cartoon Network or Adult Swim that kept that from happening. And I also learned that uh, similar circumstances prevented Space Ghost from being in the recent uh, Cartoon Planet reboot, unfortunately. Yeah, people people like throwing around the word legend, and I... I don't think it would be an exaggeration with Clay Croker. He was part of a group of people that made the first Cartoon Network original show, which had spin-offs in Aqua Teen and Harvey Birdman and The Brack Show, which were like some of the first shows, or the first shows, um, when Adult Swim premiered without Space Ghost. And by extension, Clay Croker, there wouldn't have been an Adult Swim. And it was his idea to bring the villains, Zorak and uh, Moltar, into the show. Um, I mean, going back to the things he would mention, it's... Um, he liked pointing out that uh, Moltar always got the short end of the stick. Because right now, uh, they have Funko Pop figures for Space Ghost. And they did Space Ghost, Zorak, and Brack. No Moltar. But yeah, he was uh, very nice. The most recent time at Heroes Con, I saw him. Um, he recognized me. I th give you an idea of how personable he was, how great he was with fans. Um, and very nice, even though I, I hope I didn't drive him crazy. But uh, the past two Heroes Con leading up to him, I would ask if he would... Uh, what kind of things he had lying around that he might be able to uncover to bring. I hope that wasn't, like, too aggravating for him. But, uh, yeah, he was very nice, very influential, uh, very important. Um, it's a damn shame that we've lost him so soon. He did make a huge impact on uh, humor, on animation, uh, by being such a huge force in Space Ghost. Um, 
and the first time I'm going to leave, I'm going to end this uh, with some footage of Clay doing what he did best. Um, the first time I met him at Heroes Con, uh, I commissioned him to do um, the Zorak vo voice for uh, the Thumbelina video. And so I'm going to roll that raw footage for you with his uh, different takes and uh, um, amusing confusion of what exactly he was doing his voice for. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, Mr. Croker. I will think of you when I look to the night sky. Hashtag crime rocks. Okay, so here are my takes for the uh, Princess Bride dealie here. <clears throat> yeah, I hear she loves the uh, fairy prince, right? I hear she loves that fairy prince, right? I hear she loves the fairy prince, right? <laughs> yeah, that dude's a fairy prince, if ever I seen one. <laughs> right there's your fairy prince, right there. And, uh, reaction to getting zapped, yeah. <laughs> okay. Next time the truth.